At some point, we've all asked ourselves what we'd grab in a fire or a flood. Our loved ones, some photos, our pets. But now we're being asked, what would you grab in the face of a massive solar storm? It's an interesting question, isn't it? There are people that have gone out way out into the desert and they've bought up uh, missile silos and they're converting them into apartments so that if there is like some kind of terrible nuclear attack or if there's an asteroid or whatever, that they'll be protected from that. Finding higher elevations to me makes more sense than digging underground to find shelter that way. Especially if there is something as crazy as a crustal displacement or the continents start to move, uh, you wouldn't want to be there, <laughs> that's for sure. There has never been a prophecy the same as the one of the ancient Mayans. There's been prophecies, but nothing that a whole culture believed in, nothing from so far back, and nothing that gave us a specific end date. That alone is of concern, and I implore people to prepare for it just in case something bad happens. The message from the skeptics is quite different. Be scared that we are in retreat from reason, where so many people can so passionately believe in an end of the world that is coming through climate change or through a uh, 2012 prophecy without any ability to explain what is the evidence that's informing that sick belief. It's not true. Life is great. The planet's fine. And you'll be fine. Astrologers say 2012 isn't showing anything too unusual. So perhaps we should approach this from a different angle. There's a huge opportunity for people to learn. There's a huge opportunity for people to reprioritise and to actually think about what they actually stand for, what is most important to them. But humans are doing a lot more than reprioritising. They're prepping. Started this about six, uh, six, seven months ago. Things are getting worse. Uh, economy going to hell. Uh, emergency essentials is where I order a lot of my stuff from. Tell you what, people, it, uh, you know, for anybody watching this and think, oh, these guys are crazy. They're, you know, just waiting for stuff, bad stuff to happen. It's happened before. You know, you can be prepared or not, but you'll be the one begging if something bad happens. You drive a car, you got a car insurance policy, right? Well, you also have a life insurance policy for your family to take care of you if something bad happens. That's what this is. It is a life insurance policy while you're still living. NASA is 99.9% .9 certain no asteroids are headed our way that would impact us or do us any harm uh, this year or next year. But they very conveniently don't mention comets a comet could be heading our way and we would not see it yet. A comet is also something that the ancient Mayans could have seen and predicted the return of. So when NASA says everything's fine, well, they're omitting part of the equation. All this 2012 talk is just a hoax. It's a fake. It's nothing you should worry about. I get questions from many people who are really scared, even some Young people have said they're contemplating suicide, this sort of thing. It, it's really sad. And the point of my talking to you now is just to explain to you that there is no problem there. And that the many things you see on the internet and YouTube where people claim that there is some horrible threat about to descend on us are not true. Don't worry about 2012 and enjoy 2013 when it comes. Well, what I hope happens, uh, if there is destruction, that, it, that it's for our benefit and the Earth's benefit, that it cleanses the Earth and gets it ready for the next age, which will be just something incredible. I don't know why they think the 21st of December 2012 is significant, when actually uh, 2013 we'll see some very significant uh, uh, breakthroughs in space. By 2015 we'll have a spacecraft flying by Pluto. Uh, all these things are, are things to look forward to and are really much more important and much more significant than anything related to December the 21st, 2012. They say there are only two things in life you can be sure of, death and taxes. No one can be absolutely certain what the future holds and maybe in some way that's a good thing. Our scientists, however, do agree that the Earth has an expiration date, but no one is prepared to say whether it's next year or in five billion years. For now, all we can hope for is that the next 100 days is less eventful.